there's one decor trend I'm loving at the moment. It's tropical. Not only is it bright, fun and colourful, it screams holiday time. For this DIY project, I have this old chest of drawers here that needs a bit of a mini makeover. And I want to take the tropical theme to this piece of furniture. I'll show you how to do this project and I'm going to show you how to give it an interesting top. So, what you'll need for this DIY project is the following. Fabric in a tropical print, PVA paint that matches your tropical scheme, a universal primer, polyurethane, a drop sheet, sponge roller and tray, paint brushes, sandpaper, scissors, painter's tape and some new doorknobs. To start off this project, we are first going to remove the hardware, then sand down any rough edges and then go in with a coat of universal primer. If you are planning on painting an already painted furniture piece, sanding is purely there to create a smooth and suitable surface for the new paint to adhere to. Using a multi-surface primer is a great way to ensure that your top coat paint adheres to the previously painted surfaces. Use a sponge roller or brush to apply the primer making sure to cover all the areas where you want to apply the new colour. So while the undercoat is busy drying, I decided to tackle the top of this piece of furniture. What I'm going to do is use this beautiful fabric and we're going to take a mod podge approach to this, but we're going to use polyurethane. Yes, guys, you heard it. Don't be scared of it. If you follow the instructions and all the precautions on the back of the product, it'll work out just fine. So first things first is I need to cut a decent amount of the fabric to the size of the top of this furniture. I'm always going to leave a little bit extra because I can trim those as I work with the polyurethane coats and the fabric dries. Okay, so my fabric is cut to size and it's time to adhere it to the piece of furniture. What I'm going to do first is decant my polyurethane into a container, my roller brush, and with my sponge roller I'm going to put an even first coat on top of the furniture first then I'm going to lay out my fabric on top of it, make sure that it seeps through the fabric and it's all smoothed out, and then go on with a final coat on top of my fabric. While the polyurethane coat is busy drying, I decided to tackle the drawers. I want to paint the front of the drawers in this beautiful green because I really feel it complements the tropical pattern on our piece of fabric. To complement the green drawers, I am painting the frame of the chest of drawers in a crisp white. This project is nearly complete. All that's left for me to do is to add these oak beautiful wooden knobs, which I have been doing, so I have two more left to do. And then guys, you can go in with the top coat of polyurethane on this piece of fabric as many times as you want for your desired finish. So the more polyurethane coats you add on, the glossier and harder the top of this furniture piece is. So I'm happy with how it looks. And guys, remember you can go in with wooden knobs or gold really complements the tropical look and theme. I had a lot of fun. Please have a lot of fun as well. Get creative with leaves and flowers, tropical flowers, and remember be bright and colorful.